couple of weeks ago, Pope Francis spoke by video to the youth of Argentina. And it's a wonderful message. And uh, I'm just going to uh, refer to a couple of things he said. But I'd encourage you to go to the Vatican website, vatican.va, and get the whole thing. His message to the youth, the basic message was, have the courage to follow Jesus Christ. It is in response to Jesus' call that Daniel and Isidro, they're sitting right now, I stand before you today. In his message, Pope Francis points to Jesus' encounter with the apostles, with the rich young man, and with the prodigal son. He says, the apostles knew Jesus, but behaved badly on the Friday. Peter denied him, Judas betrayed him, and others fled. And of course, they fled out of fear. What does that teach us? That it takes courage to follow Jesus. There are consequences to following Jesus. And the step that Daniel and Cedro are taking today requires courage. It's countercultural. Only a few brave men take it. Jesus invited the rich young man to give everything he had to the poor and join him in preaching the gospel. But he went away sad because he trusted more in his possessions than he did in Jesus. Letting loose of our security blanket requires courage. We cling to things that we think will give us security, but they don't. This young man trusted more in his money than he did in Jesus. That form of idolatry pervades our entire society. This young man went away saying, do you have something in your life that you're not willing to let loose of in order to do God's will in your life? Something that you want but which is not God's will for you. The prodigal son pursued pleasure. Another false God that promises happiness that it cannot deliver. He tried to fill his inner loneliness with wild parties and the superficial gratification of all of his urges. But this just left him feeling emptier than before. And so, with much remorse, he returned to his father. His father embraced him with mercy and then celebrated his return with a party of a very different sort. A party in which the joy was real and not superficial. What does that teach us? That it takes courage to face up to our sins and reset the direction of our lives. Cowards remain in the gutter. Pope Francis then asks, Who are you? Do you have the courage really to follow Christ? The apostles knew Jesus, and they knew a whole lot about Jesus, but they were afraid to put their lives on the line. The rich young man was unhappy because he was following a false God. Happiness comes only from living for something bigger than ourselves and truly following Jesus, not just with words, but really investing our lives, all of our hopes and all of our dreams in Him gives meaning and purpose to our life in a way that nothing else can. Isidro and Daniel have discovered this. So have Catholic High graduates during my time here, Brian Kunkel and Stephen Kelly, Joseph and Patrick Friend, John Miskin,
Keith Higginbotham, Stephen Elser, Joseph Yorgoso, and others before them, many of whom are back here, who were before my time. It's not a long time before my time. <laughs> And others have responded not following their senior year, but after a few years later, like some of our seminarians that we've got here. How about you? What does God want you to do with your life? And if it is the case that Jesus really is calling you to the priesthood, do you have the courage to say yes? Cedra and Daniel have said yes. And so it's my privilege to, uh, to now have the, the sign of our letters of intent. Now, it so happens that I encountered both of these families during my first week here in Arkansas. Uh, regarding Cedra uh, and his family, uh, they were playing at my ordination when I came here six years ago. And they were playing music again at the Christmas just this last uh, uh, Holy Week when we consecrated the oils that will be used to ordain uh, three new priests next Saturday, week from tomorrow. And so for us, I'll start with the Cedro's letter, and then I'll read it, and then we'll get the Cedro, I'll sign it, we'll get the Cedro to sign it as well, and we'll seal it. <laughs> Dear Cedro, it is my pleasure to accept you as a seminary for the Diocese of Little Rock. You will be living at our House of Formation and attending the University of Arkansas at Little Rock. I assure you of my prayers and support of it in every way. May the Lord bless you and keep you as you continue your discernment of his call to priestly ministry. And may the grace of the Holy Spirit continue to guide all that you do. With every best prayer and wish, I am, and I sign my name. I see you want you to come up and read your part of the letter, and then we will sign it. I, Ticillo de la Tuzmerete Rodriguez, wish to express my desire to begin the process of the sermon as a seminarian for the Diocese of Little Rock. To understand that I will attend the University of Arkansas at Little Rock beginning this fall, 2014. Sign two copies, one you get to keep it. It is my pleasure to accept you as a seminary for the Diocese of Little Rock. 
You will be attending Holy Trinity Seminary in Irving, Texas. I want to assure you of my prayers and support in every way. May the Lord bless and keep you as you discern, continue your discernment of his call to priestly ministry. And may the grace of the Holy Spirit continue to guide all that you do. With every best prayer and best wish and prayer, I am. Yes, I am. I, Daniel Wendell, wish to express my desire to begin the process of discernment as a seminary of the Diocese of Little Rock. I understand that I will be attending Holy Trinity Sem Seminary in Irving, Texas, Texas, beginning this fall of 2014. He knows I can get his back. 